Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy Jaspers, and welcome back to the vlog. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out this specific deck of playing cards. And the reason why we're checking out this specific deck of playing cards is because of this sound. That sounds like a good deck of playing cards. And more importantly, this deck of playing cards, I got it from a shop called Daiso. Daiso is essentially a Dollar Tree store, except for instead of the items there being one dollar and under it's actually closer to two us dollars per item so if this deck of playing cards actually feels good which i actually think it might be considering the sound of the cards this might actually be the cheapest and the best deck of playing cards you can get on the market Assuming you don't live in the U United States of America Because if, if you live in the United States of America Obviously you can get normal bicycle decks of playing cards And value for money wise 100% uh, that deck of playing cards is Perfect, absolutely perfect Now before we take a look at this 7 treasures deck of playing cards Here's a reminder that the giveaway is still going on We have 9 decks in the collection right now And once we hit the full 12 decks you can be sure that I'm going to be sending these decks out to one of you guys. So if you want to join the Variety Brick giveaway, leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure it's not a meaningless comment. Comment something related to the video. I'm actually not 100% sure that this is a deck of poker cards, of playing cards. Like it seems like it might also be like a card game at the same time. And to me, if it is a card game, that's actually value addedness because I like card games. However, for some of you guys who are, you know, only playing cards collectors or only cardists that use normal playing cards, this might not be the deck for you. I'm not 100% sure yet though, so let's check it out. This is what the front of the box looks like. The back of the box, side number one, side number two. Feels like it might even be printed in the USPCC. Nope. It's not printed in the USPCC. Looking purely at the edges of the cards, if you look at it right here, you can tell that the edges of the cards are really, really smooth, which is not indicative of USPCC cards. However, it also looks like this deck is a black border deck of playing cards. That's interesting. Let's slide this out. Ooh, this feels... This feels pretty good. I think I might know which company printed this deck of playing cards already. Two rule cards, they look like this on one side and this on the other side. One, two, three, four team cards. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely not a poker deck of playing cards. This deck of playing cards comes with 55 cards. So with two cards down for rules and four cards down for teams, that's uh, 49 cards left. So this is definitely not a poker deck of playing cards. However, based 100% on the feel of the cards, this is definitely a deck of playing cards that is printed by one of the playing card companies that we've worked with before. In fact, I believe this is the Taiwanese playing card company. Mm -hmm. Probably. Ooh, 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 the cards can't fan as well as I thought they would. That's interesting. Now, normally the Taiwanese playing card company's cards fan very well. This might mean that the company that wanted this deck of playing cards printed with the Taiwanese playing card company wanted it printed for a cheaper price. And in doing so, the finish on the cards is not quite as good. Alternatively, it could also be the fact that there's this much black ink on the backs of the cards. And if you print all over the backs of the playing cards, it actually affects the handling of the playing cards that uh, that you produce. Now, I wonder if there's any way I could tell even better. For one thing, it looks like the box flaps over here. You see how the flaps are connected not to the outside of the box over here, but the inner layer of the box, which is here. That could also be a signal that this deck is not printed at Taiwanese Playing Card Company. But the smell, the ink that they use smells very very similar. Oh, never mind, I found it. Made in Taiwan. Bam. 
Oh my brother Jasper's deck does it again. He solved the crime, baby. The deck of cards comes with one singular back. So the main deck itself contains 49 cards over here. And looking at the backs of the cards, it has the title of the game, which is Seven Treasures. Very, very beautiful, striking back design. Now looking at the faces of the cards, however, you can see that every single card in this deck has customized art. Amazing, absolutely amazing deck of playing cards. Well, perhaps calling it playing cards is not right in this specific case, but yeah, absolutely amazing pack of cards, I guess. Definitely, this is not a deck of playing cards, um, but even so, let's treat this deck as if it was a normal deck of playing cards, and if that's the case, for 52 cards, this would be an amazing crushed stock. The fanability of the cards is not up to standards, it doesn't fan very well. Let me hold the cards faces towards you guys. You can see the fanning is not very good on this deck of playing cards. On a spring. Mm. And the waterfall looks very nice on this deck of playing cards. The edges of the cards feel very comfortable, very smooth. In terms of snap, Oh, there's an average amount of snap. This is not one of those super snappy cards. This is more of a medium snap deck of playing cards. Giving the deck a cut. This deck is very comfortable in the hands. These cards seem to ferrule better from... Mm, not bottom to top. <sighs> not top to bottom either. These cards don't seem to ferrule very well and that Probably is because the cards are a little bit too flat on the edges of the cards. Let me try ferro it one more time. Go here. Hmm. Well, as you can see, this is not a deck of poker cards, so I'm not going to be adding it to the variety brick giveaway. But the art is so absolutely beautiful. With such simplistic character designs, it creates something that looks so regal and so powerful and potent. I love it, I love it so much. And also, Japanese art is not afraid to have a little bit of fan service, a little bit of dabuba, which, in my honest opinion, is a win. Your online brother does like a little bit of booba here and there. Ooh la la. So the fortunate thing about this deck of playing cards is that I absolutely love the art that comes on these cards. However, as a functional poker deck or as a functional gaming deck for any of us who don't understand, cannot read Japanese, unfortunately this does not seem to be something that we are going to be able to use. So with that said, I guess all that I can do is to give you guys a hidden extra deck review. This is the Naughty Dog Playing Cards by 808 Magic. Here's what the front of the box looks like. Backs of the cards look like. Looks super duper cute. On the tabs of the box, you can see the two dog designs over there. I'm excited to see this one. Ooh. Ooh. It's a full plastic deck of playing cards, what? Just looking at the faces of the cards, you can see that there's like texture to the cards which makes the cards feel a little bit more like paper and less like plastic. Really really good in dribbles. In springs, it's a little bit too sharp. Actually no, that sounded really really good. There you go. I can't wait to see whoever gets the, their hands on this variety brick of playing cards to give this deck of playing cards a try because honestly plastic cards has come a long way. Can I do a perfect pharaoh on this deck of playing cards? Yeah, that's almost perfect. Whoever gets their hands on this Naughty Dog playing cards, which is an absolutely cute, good boy deck of playing cards. I hope you have fun playing with this deck of playing cards and trying out new things with this deck of playing cards. And maybe even coming up with uh, your own genre of cardistry moves that normal paper cards won't be able to achieve. Also, 
these gentlemen and ladies right here are our patrons. They are the people that make a giveaway of this magnitude even possible. If you want to get your hands on some of these awesome, the new deck order playing cards, such as the black and pink broken borders, absolutely amazing deck of playing cards. Don't forget to use coupon code Jasper's YouTube for 10% off. Until next time guys, it's been me, your online brother Jasper's deck. Take care and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye.